Hello, good morning. So children, I'm sure you must have devised active voice and passive voice. What were we doing? Yes, exercises of active voice and passive voice. Converting active into passive. So I continue with the same active voice and passive voice. The question. His behavior annoyed me. This you have to convert into passive voice. The options. I was annoyed from his behavior. I was annoyed from his behavior. I was annoyed at his behavior. I was annoyed with his behavior. The correct answer. The correct answer is. That is option D is the right answer. Now we move on to the next question. The boys are flying kites. So the answer is what? Kites are being flown by the boys. Kites are flying by the boys. Kites could be flying by the boys. Kites have been flying by the boys. The right answer is, let's have a look at the right answer. Are being kites are being flown by the boys? Explanation. When the verb is changed from active voice to the passive voice, the object of the transitive verb becomes the subject of the verb in the passive voice. Whatever is subject in active voice, once you change it into passive, it becomes the object. You remember this very easily. You can convert active into passive. Okay? Remember this. Next question. My mother is cooking food for me. So, food is being cooked for me by my mother. Food was cooking for me by my mother. Food has been cooking for me by my mother. Food was being cooked for me by my mother. The right option is yes. Food is being cooked for me by my mother. That is option A. Let's have a look at the explanation. When the verb is changed from the active voice to the passive voice, the object of the transitive verb becomes the subject of the verb in the voice. The ing of the continuous tense is changed into being followed by the past Participle. Once again, see, is being put for me by my mother. Mother was the subject in active, now it has become the object, the ing of the continuous tense. Put. See, put to that ing is added. So, is being put for me by my mother. That's the right answer. Next question. The boys take their bags to the classroom. Their bags have been taken to the classroom by the boys. Were taken to the classroom by the boys. Will be taken to the classroom by the boys. Are taken to the classroom by the boys. So the right answer is, let's have a look at the answer. Yes, are taken to the classroom by the boys. But the verb is changed from the active voice to the passive voice. Whatever is the subject in active becomes the object in passive. Then the suitable tense of the verb is followed by past participle taken. It becomes 
taken next. The cat chases the mouse. Answer is the mouse was chased by the cat, is chased by the cat, will be chased by the cat, has been chased by the cat. The answer is, let's have a look at the answer. Is chased by the cat. When the verb is changed from active voice to the passive voice, the object of the transitive verb becomes the subject of the verb. The object becomes the subject of the verb. And the suitable tense of the verb is followed by past participle. It becomes changed here. Next one. My brother. My brother has never beaten me at crossword. Crossword that puzzle. The correct passage sentence will be I was never beaten in crossword. I have never been beaten at crossword by my brother. I can never be beaten at crossword by my brother. The right answer is I have never been beaten at crossword by my brother. Sometimes the subject in the active voice is vague. Sometimes you do not know the subject. It remains unexpressed in the passive if the agent with by is not needed. Sometimes it is not required, so it is omitted. Next. Does she make socks? The passive form of this interrogative sentence is Was socks written by her? Was socks written by her? Are socks written by her? Is socks written by her? The correct answer is Are socks written by her? Structure of interrogative passive form is, is are or am plus object of the active verb plus past participle C. Is, are, am, so here we are, are plus object socks is the object participle. Nickel. So that's the answer. Finish your work at once. Let us finish your work. Let your work finish at once. Let's finish your work at once. Let your work be finished at once. The right answer is Let your work be finished at once. The imperative sentence in the passive voice takes the following form. Let, so here we have let plus object plus be plus past participle. Work as object Past participle finished. So that's how we change it to passive voice. Next one. She has sent me the memo. The correct option is the memo has been sent to me. The memo was sent to me by her. The memo had been sent to me by her. I received a memo from her. The correct answer is the memo had been sent to me by her. Passive voice. Object of the active sentence plus had. What is the object of the active sentence? Memo. Had, had been. So had been. Then past participle that is sent plus subject of the that is Next. My brother discovered a new element. The passive form is A new element had been discovered by my brother. A new element was discovered by my brother. A new element has been discovered by my brother. A new element was being discovered by my brother. The answer is a new element was discovered by my brother. Passive sentences in the present perfect 
stamens have the following structure. Object of the active sentence plus has or have plus be plus past participle plus by plus subject. So we have a new element then was discovered then by my brother. So that is the see a new element. Let's have a look at the question once again. My brother discovered a new element. So brother is the subject, element is the object. Let's have a look at the answer. See object becomes the subject here and subject becomes the object. Next. Michael was delivering a sum. The correct form from active to passive is a sermon was being delivered by Michael. A sermon being delivered by Michael. A sermon is being delivered by Michael. A sermon has been delivered by Michael. The answer is a sermon. for today. 